Hello guys, Jack from Fox Tech. So do you feel really bulky to bring a lot of equipment when you go to the field to fly your drones or VTOLs? So you may bring your monitor, you may bring your laptop, video link, data link, radio link, everything. It's a big box containing it, right? So have you ever imagined there's equipment that can have all the equipment just into one like this? So today I'm going to introduce you a very integrated all-in-one ground station video link, data link, radio link, all-in-one and it even has two very bright touch screen monitors. So this is the T30S ground station. So people may ask, well it still look big, right? We have the here link, here link from HEX. It's small, yes, it has a touch screen and uh, it's uh, like a six inch, right? But however, it is only Android system. So if you want to use any Windows or PC system or the software, forget about it. You cannot do it. So that's why we bring you the T30S. So there are actually two versions. T30S has two screens and the T30 has only one screen. Forget about this one, but I highly recommend the S version because the second monitor really does its job. Well, the T30S is like a computer, so also a laptop, a radio control with the maximum like 32 channels radio controller and also the 15 kilometer range video and the data link. So all in one in this very thin and light unit. It is only 2.3 kilograms, including the two monitors. Also the range 15 kilometers is really nice. And if you don't want to fly very far with your veto or just to fly the helicopter or drone, the range should be quite enough. Or if you want to do a survey job and you want to uh, maybe process your data after survey, uh, this one could be really handy. So yeah, let's check. The T30S has two very bright monitors, 10 inch of each, the multi-point touch screen, and also it's bright. It's the brightness is the 800 CD. Uh, that brightness means you can directly see the details under sunlight. But I su still suggest you maybe bring an umbrella upon it and not to make it more vivid because it is black and uh, if you expose it under sunlight for too long time, it may get hot. You can, you can hear it's a small noise coming from it, actually hot wind coming from the, this laptop, and it has inner cooling fan. Continuously bring it a very cool operation situation. But actually, if you power it for a very long time, you still feel it is getting warm because it's running an i7 CPU. So, yeah, talking about the setup of this laptop, actually, it's using the i7 1400U CPU, is that name, it's quite complicated, and also coming with the total memory up to 8 GB, the total storage, the flash storage, is actually 128 GB, it's good, quite good enough, and if you feel it's not enough, you can use the USB port coming from it, and the link a hard drive so you can get a very big storage. So yeah, the computer seems good. Touch screen, the Win 10 operation system. And uh, you can see we have the, the actually a, it's a, a head X uh, software. It's like a ground station software here. So we can, we can uh, use the touch screen to do some operations settings directly here, yeah. And here it's uh, showing the wireless video coming from this camera. So I can move it, I can zoom it, really easy. Yeah, so I think the benefit of using a T30S rather than use the laptop is actually you, you can just take it around and uh, the duration of the inside battery can last uh, three hours and uh, normally it's uh, quite enough for those uh, mapping jobs and uh, if you think it's not good enough here we have a battery port so we can use the 2 or 3S LiPo battery to power the, the 
the ground station, so uh, it should be quite enough to last over five hours or six hours. Okay, so you can see it comes with uh, many buttons, many buttons here, the on-off button, and there's just a landing button. Actually, the every button is can be can be uh, programmed, and uh, we have more buttons. I'm going to show you the, the back of it later. Uh, so two sticks. Yeah, like iron or rather, and uh, actually four three position switches, and uh, more than more than one uh, more than two knobs. So we actually even have uh, wheels here. Going to show you the detail later. So antennas they are both the data and also the video antennas. So let's turn it back and uh, we can see more detail. Okay, guys, on the back of the T30S, we can see actually the one is the RS232 port, and the one HDMI, we already used it with our secondary monitor, and then two USB, and also the Ethernet speaker microphone output. Well, on the back, we can see more output options, uh, like uh, 485, and so right here is quite small TTL. Yeah. So if you have other equipment like data link or other really uh, nice equipment you want to use with this laptop, so you can link them directly without the converter to USB. So yeah. Okay, so actually on the back we can see two wheels. I can use the wheel to control my gimbal. So yeah, you may see it moving. And also we have the two buttons and uh, I can recenter the gimbal by using the button and uh, also two uh, three position switches here and then uh, we actually have more button here so many buttons and uh, yeah let's turn it back the many buttons two sticks and also two knobs two wheels so yeah for the hardware we have actually 23 options 23 hardware channel options and uh, because we have the transmitter also with the two SFAS output that means we can actually link one SFAS maybe eight channels with our gimbal and camera and another SFAS with our ground with our flight controllers so yeah 23 channels could be quite enough actually you may ask how I can program those functions in this uh, T30S. Okay, let's do a close look at the software. Okay, we can set channels here. You can see there are SFAS1 configuring and SFAS2 configuring and also there are 16 channels in the SFAS1 or 2, so 32 channels adding together. Now we can enter the SFAS2 configuration. Then we can take the channel 9, for example. Yes, you, you can set the reverse, you can set the travel range, and also you can array, a, assign a switch or a stick to it. And then we uh, assign it to the SD, meaning the switch SD or something else. Yeah, after you do that, you can uh, click once on the right to save your setting. And then go back to the monitor and by click three times on the monitor on, on the touch screen, we can turn on the calibration function. And in case your switch or your stick is not at the center position, well, they are already physically at the center position, then the calibration is necessary. So you can move the sticks, the wheels, and switches just like that. So you can calibrate them all. It's uh, very easy to do. Actually, we already assigned several channels to control our gimbal and the camera. And don't forget to click on the finish after you have done everything. So also you can see all the travel range and uh, also how the channels moves in this setting. So let's go ahead for more demonstration. as we already assigned uh, several channels to control our gimbal and camera, and then later we can check if we can uh, perfectly control the gimbal camera. So 
My favorite thing to use the Windows system as the drone run station controller is actually you can always grab your joystick for playing those uh, plane simulator games and then plug in if it is a USB port, plug in with your laptop and then you can run the joystick setup on your mission planner and uh, yeah, I actually arrange some channels here and also buttons here for different functions to control your drone, so it's very, very easy. And uh, because the joystick has um, a more accuracy, so yes, actually, if you use the joystick to control the gimbal, since the gimbal has many functions like focus or maybe zoom in, zoom out, or a uh, tracking, so it's uh, all can be done with one simple joystick. And uh, some, uh, maybe this is a uh, really you can find it anywhere and the price is really quite affordable. Okay, so go back to the T30S. The T30S is the maybe the most all-in-one or the most integrated ground station ever in the history. So far we can see, or either we can see those, those really, really bulky and many equipment somewhere or many wires like uh, like what I said in the beginning of the video, like uh, you, you, you must uh, bring your laptop, video link, data link, radio link, everything antenna with you. So the, the many equipment. Or we may see those uh, really bulky ground station. Actually, I have one actually behind me. It's uh, really bulky, but uh, yeah, it's really, really good. But uh, this one is the lightest and uh, it has uh, two screens, all touch screens, 10 inch screen, very bright. So uh, if you finish your operation, you can just uh, simply fold and uh, then the second screen cover can protect the both screen from scratch. Okay, so brief introduction about the best all-in-one ground station Yeah, the here. T30S with uh, two screen, uh, 32 channels for the hardware and uh, for the software, you can really arrange the 32 channels into it. And also the really good range, 15 kilometer video and also data link range and the really, really tens of features. And the case is also made of aluminum and uh, we can feel a rubber here for more resistance for hand to hold and also here is uh, for those uh, big band, we can really hang it on the, on the neck, but it's actually heavy. I don't suggest to do so. Well, if you want to get more range, the antennas can be replaced with those uh, extension wires and also the big antenna, so you can put antenna on the roof of your car for more range. So all in all, the T30S is a very, very good. It has all the functions we need, and also uh, you can just uh, take your drone, your battery, and also T30S outside for operation. So nothing else. It's really, really nice. So I hope you like this product. The T30S may be the best one so far on the market running the Windows system. Okay, so if you don't want to run the Windows system, you are considering the Android, you can also consider the here link and the more coming great product from Foxtech. Okay guys, the brief introduction about the all-in-one ground station hardware. This is the T30S, maybe the best hardware I can see so far with the Windows running and also the lightweight. And okay, if you like this product, you can find it on our website, which is the foxtechfpv.com. And also if you try to search our website, and you can find many, many interesting equipment there. And also keep an eye on our social media like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. We are posting a lot of uh, things every day and uh, maybe you are interested in them. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, see you in next video. Bye.